read is, is something I wrote many years ago about the first, the first poetry reading I ever went to when I was 14 and very impressionable. And, uh, and the poet, who's a famous New Zealand poet, uh, led a very dissolute life involving fast cars and fast women and drinking drugs. And to a 14 year old that seemed very attractive, uh, but it's called My Cranberry Hero. At the start of that part of my life in which these things mattered, I thought of you as the original. No holds barred, tree huts, tears and tabbies from when your years were a trio, sheets of rain, of cotton shrouding your crises, your tender, sad eyed angels. Fuck was a pretty cool word to use a lot. We thought so too. And you, who by turn were comic, cosmic, orgasmic while making eyes at the single ladies as in I feel this, I suffer that, oh God, I am so sensitive. You garbled and gobbled, but we never noticed the feathering, fattening for thanksgiving, approaching quickly. We thought you were terrific. Uh, I, I was lucky enough when I went to college to study with a, a New Zealand poet called Bill Manhire. And this, the oldest literary, written literary tradition in the world, the Chinese tradition, which is three or four thousand years old, poets would usually spend the first 20 years of their careers rewriting other people's poems to try and find their own voice. And in some ways I, I took a bunch of my favourite lines from Bill Manhire's poetry, very understated poem, too understated, I think, to try and make something of it in that tradition. And it's called The, the Manhire Extensions. Someday, my body will eat itself as an act of derision and the cancer being cancer will divide beneath the pages and someday you will surprise yourself lost in sheets of treason angry and tell me how only the young die well 